Hello readers, if you're seeing me in this outfit again, yeah, here we are. I've been in this outfit now for two different videos. <laughs> One for the live show I did with my friends, two for my wrap up, and now the third for my introduction to my vlog that is coming to you guys now. And that is my reread vlog for the Divergent series by Veronica Roth. I am so very excited to reread this. I read this in high school and I absolutely loved it when it came out. However, I decided now that I'm on booktube, now that I've heard other people's opinions, it would be really fun for me to read this series again. So I decided to pick up Divergent, Insurgent, and Allegiant on Amazon for, shockingly, $15 for all three of them in hardcover. I was living my best life. Someone was selling them used and I was like, that's perfect. I'm very excited to give this another reread. So what is to come? I will be reading this series. I will be updating every 100 pages. I will have little spoiler things at the bottom of the page. So if you haven't read the Divergent series and you want to, you can skip over the spoilery aspects. But I am going to try to do better with this than I did with my Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes vlog. I'm going to actually try to update myself reading this more and give more of an in-depth idea as to what I'm doing and what's going on in the stories. I loved this as a kid and I can't wait to get to it now. I'm going to start reading it now. I just have to change into like peak comfy clothes and then I'm just gonna vibe in this and read this book. And that is what you can expect throughout this vlog. I don't want to make this intro too long because I just want to dive right into reading these three books. So stay tuned for me rereading one of the most well-known but also one of the most as a series disliked because of the ending of Allegiant. So stay tuned for how I react to, oh I want it to be cool but I can't get it, to Divergence. On page 100 now of Divergent and I did not love that a man just stared into my window one second we're gonna close the curtain okay <laughs> I am back so I am 100 pages in to Divergent and I like it I liked it the first time I like it this time I do sorry about this angle but like this is what you're getting i do have to say that i think tris so far is kind of an unlikable character like i don't know she got pissy that somebody was like crying after they were all initiated but like it's scary changes change can be very scary especially going from something so mild to something as intense as dauntless right so like let people cry like i feel like why not <laughs> so that was kind of off-putting and i also just want to say i forgot peter existed and i kind of just want to throw my head against a wall because peter is absolute trash and he literally has no rights as a human being like i hate Peter. But yeah, I'm actually I'm enjoying reading this and it's actually really easy and quick to read. Like I'm breezing through it and I don't know if that's because I've already read it once, which it probably is, but I am just like speeding through it, which is awesome. So yeah, and bonus PG where how do can you see her? PG <laughs> baby so i am 200 pages in to divergent my hair is so messy i just woke up i didn't quite get to finish halfway last night because i was so tired the first rankings just came up and there's just a lot that i forgot like there are a lot of characters and at times i'm kind of overwhelmed with the amount of characters that there are because i feel like i have to keep track of all of them especially because this is a series so i know like i have to keep a little bit more of a track of them i will say tris bothers me as a character i don't love that they make such a mention of the fact that she's not pretty like she's very like plain looking and that's like a thing that the abnegation are known for is being like plain looking and they make mention of it a lot and it's kind of annoying because it's like that has nothing to do with the story like it's so trope heavy like that really plain girl who comes in and like changes the game like that's 
hot. BG. I'm kind of over that aspect of it, if I'm being perfectly honest. As a whole, it's like actually a good story and I am going to try to finish it today. I do have only like 287 pages left and I feel like I could do it. So I am 300 pages into Divergent now. The rating has like slowly gone down to like a 4.5 out of 5. Like I know the first time I read it, it was a 5 star, but I am a little bit older now and I don't love everything in this book as much as I used to. Like. There are so many references to Triss's height. Like, Jesus Christ, I understand you're short. We don't need the reminder every five seconds that you're short. Like, it doesn't need to be there. And I just, I don't know. The connection between Triss and Four just seems so insta-lovey. Like, why is Four suddenly attracted to this tiny girl from abnegation for literally no reason? Like, when she hasn't done realistically like anything it doesn't make any sense to me as the reader so i don't love that aspect of it but i will say being back in the divergent world is fun and i'm enjoying my time reading it and just like i thought i would and i definitely think i can finish it today because i am 300 pages in and i only have 187 pages left i'm pretty happy with how it's going so far i thought there were certain things that happened before the 300 page mark like i'll put a spoiler down below right now but I thought Al had jumped into the chasm by now. I've been like waiting for that to happen. Like there have been so many moments where I was like, it has had to happen, it has to happen. But now Tris just got beaten up by Peter and Drew and Al. And I think now Al's gonna do it because he was just like really upset about it. And Tris was pretty much just like, I will kill you if you come near me. And I'm pretty sure that that means that that's happening very soon, that he's going to die. Like, that's what we in the biz like to call foreshadowing. That is what is happening so far. I really do like being back in this world, and I like reading this story. I just finished reading Divergent and I I don't know how I'm gonna rate it it's definitely not five stars like I thought it was the first time I read it but it's been I don't even know how long since I read it the first time and it just isn't there anymore so I think I'm going to stick with a four or a 4.5 out of five stars for this one because it was still really good and I finished it in a day so obviously like it was really good I do have some thoughts though there was one I guess I'll just put spoilers down here so you can just fast forward to the next one but I will say that I thought I liked Will more than I did like when I read it the first time I remember liking him as a character and this time I just found him to be incredibly annoying and kind of a dick and like Triss's like friends like her initiate like trainees like whatever they were kind of assholes and I didn't love reading about them I obviously I understand jealousy because it is a competition like their rankings were going to play a part in the jobs they got but like they were too competitive and they were supposed to be her friends but they were only her friends when they were also being rewarded and they were also doing well and that never sits well with me so I didn't love that aspect of it and there was also a moment where freaking four and Triss were making out and kissing and all that stuff and then Triss was like well I like I hope you don't want sex like that's not why I'm with you and blah all this stuff like yeah and four was like well yeah I know like if that's all I wanted you wouldn't be my first choice and I literally what a trash human being like trash human being I was so angry I was like first why would you say that to a girl that you literally like are in love with like i don't understand and also there was another point where he was like yeah you're not pretty but like you're brave so i love you for that and it's just like can you imagine i hated that too that like pissed me off overall though i liked the story i forgot about the war aspect like i forgot about the fact that the erudite made the simulation and put everyone in it and then the divergent people were like i'm good thanks and I forgot about that, so I thought that was really fun to read about again.
so once again living for these stellar angles yeah so i am 100 pages into insurgent at the moment and not really that much happened until about 80 pages in and i kind of forgot how much kissing and like canoodling there was in this series like the world is like literally in a war and you're like Make it like i don't love that aspect of it i feel like this book is over 500 pages long i feel like it doesn't need all of the kissing that it has so that's kind of something i'm not a huge fan of in this and also i feel like the first 80 90 pages of this book were really boring and now we're just getting to the part where spoilers 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 where tobias meets up with his mom in factionless I kind of forgot that he already knew she was alive, so that was something that was kind of a fun surprise. But overall, like, I'm not loving this as much so far. I feel like this is definitely a lot slower paced than the first book, but I am only 100 pages in. It's 9.30 at night. I kind of thought I would get more today. I kind of wanted to get over 300 pages in. I wanted to get to chapter 30, but I'm on chapter 9, and I work at 6 in the morning, so I don't think that's going to happen, but that's fine. I'll have to read a lot tomorrow night as is, so that will be what I do tomorrow. So I actually did end up reading two, 200 pages. It's definitely turning into an interesting story. Like, it's the beginning was very dull and very boring and kind of like dragged along but right now like it's actually more interesting things are happening and it's more fast paced now and i feel like my engagement level has gone up because it's hard reading novels that are not fast paced just that's just that's just that i don't like four i think four is kind of a really toxic boyfriend the things he says and does make me really uncomfortable and like if my boyfriend ever tried to do that i'd be like the fuck and i don't love that i don't love that aspect of it i think tris deserves better in terms of boyfriends anyways i will see you guys tomorrow have a good sleep i'm 300 pages in i am sick of the bickering and the fighting between tris and tobias it's getting really annoying and i'm low-key tired of the both of them trying to control each other like it's really toxic and tris has this complex where she has to like save everyone you know like the stereotypical ya protagonist in 2011 or 2012 or whatever and it's i'm honestly just really fucking tired of it and i'm i'm just i'm over this book now i just want it to be over low-key i'm not that mad about the ending of allegiant <laughs> Anyways, I will catch up when I get to page 400. So I don't have much more to say right now. I'm just not in the best headspace and I'm just trying to like read to decompress, but the book is making me angrier. So I might just go eat enchiladas and be sad, so. So I reached page 400 exactly in the book and I have 125 pages left. I feel like I can easily finish that tonight. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't love it. Like, the story itself, I can see why I liked it so much as a teenager, but now that I'm an adult, I don't love it as much. I'm not enjoying all, like, the different tropes that are happening, and I'm not enjoying the fighting, the constant fighting. But I will say, the little, like, twists and turns that Veronica Roth incorporated into Insurgent actually make it really interesting. I already knew what the twists and turns were going into this, but for a first-time reader, the twists and turns and, like, plot twists i guess i already said that i feel like those would be really interesting to people who haven't read this yet i don't love this book it's not like my favorite of favorite books i don't hate it as much as some people do because i know a lot of people just hate insurgent and allegiant i don't think i'm going to be one of those people who hates it but i will say i was just getting very tired of the very like the same old same old like this book is over 500 pages like i wanted less of the repetition and more of like the action i'm happy to be back in the world i'm happy to like just reliving these books from my childhood has been really really fun and really i think really good for my mental health i'm going to try to finish this now just in one sitting just like bang 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 boom i might watch a couple youtube videos first and then do it and then i'm hopeful to read allegiant tomorrow and finish the whole book tomorrow it's spicy but i think i can do it so i just finished insurgent i think i'm gonna settle with a 3.5 out of 5 stars because there were a lot of parts about the story they've already told you about that have really annoyed me. As a reader, Veronica Roth included a lot of things that 
I have grown out of liking. Like all that fighting, the unnecessary hero complex in a main character, thinking with your brain instead of your heart, like that kind of stuff. I've kind of grown out of that. I am happy it's done because I genuinely am looking forward to finishing the wrap up of the story because I feel like the only part I remember about that is the ending and how I reacted to the ending. I don't actually remember anything that happened within the entire story itself. I will say that I am pleasantly surprised for the way that this ended because I didn't remember enjoying this ending as much as I did now. There is nothing that I, I don't want to say anything. I don't even want this to be possibly spoiled for you, but this definitely ended on a really good note for a middle book. I feel like a lot of middle books lack on all regards, middle, beginning, and end, and everything in terms of characters, plot, everything lacks in middle books. I've always found that. I've always struggled with middle books. But this one, yes, I didn't like it as much because of the things that I already mentioned, but the ending felt, in my opinion, better than the ending of Divergent. It just it feels like there's something for me to look forward to reading about in Allegiant and I really like that aspect of it. I do want to read Allegiant the whole thing tomorrow. I know I can get some reading done at work. I am off at noon again tomorrow and I have some chores and then that's pretty much all I'm doing so I feel like I could reasonably get it done but I also have to edit so like who knows. officially 150 pages into Allegiant. I kind of like it more than Insurgent because it's starting off in a more fast-paced way, whereas Insurgent, everybody was in kind of like a peaceful state and it was kind of like the aftermath, so it was kind of slower. Whereas this is very much like we're starting with something really interesting talking about the things, which I'm not gonna say too much about because I don't want people to get spoiled. So I am just going to put a spoiler down below right now and I will just discuss a little bit about what's going on. So they are officially outside. You want to run across? And uh, they are at O'Hare Airport, which is the like genetics warehouse or whatever it is. And they realized that some of the people that they thought were dead who were divergent were actually not dead and they were brought into this like warehouse to work as security and soldiering and stuff like that. I like the Triss and Four dynamic a lot better right now. Like I'm enjoying their connections, their conversations more. I feel like we're seeing a more human side of both of them and I like that. I like Christina and Triss's friendship. I like Kara and Christina's friendship. I like Zeke and Four's friendship. I just, I like the character dynamics within these stories and it's gonna suck being in this, being out of this world, but I ultimately, I know what's gonna happen and I'm not thrilled about it, but the beginning of the book is a lot better than the second part of the book. So I won't probably update you until I hit 300 pages because I'm almost at 200 pages anyway, so I feel like there's nothing more to update you on, but I am going to try to finish this today and see how I get, how far I get into that, and yeah, hopefully it's a good story, hopefully, hopefully it doesn't break my heart again, because it did last time, I was literally heartbroken, but we'll see what happens, and uh, yeah, that is that, and for good measure, I feel like. Is it a vlog without a peaches? It's okay. Say hi. Say hi. I'm on page 305. I really wanted to finish today, 
but I had kind of a busy day so I still have over 200 pages left and I do not anticipate finishing that tonight. I would like to try to get a little further in because now it's getting interesting. Again, I'm gonna put a little spoiler down there, but Tobias just massively, massively fucked up. Uriah is like dead, unconscious. I'm not sure. I can't remember if he lives or dies to be perfectly honest, but yeah, I am. I am enjoying this a lot more than I anticipated enjoying it, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. Like, it just, it's good. I'm having fun reading it. I am really fucking tired of Tris and Tobias being together, though their relationship is so toxic. It is so toxic. It's so bad. It's definitely been an interesting 150 pages, so I will update you when I get to 400 pages, which might be tomorrow. But this book will definitely be getting finished tomorrow. I cannot push it back anymore because of the amount of books I have to read this month, like it is, she's messy, so. So I am on page 400 of Allegiant and it's a good story. Like it's better than Insurgent, definitely. Everything about this book screams 2014, 2015. It doesn't hold up to the test of time that well because there are a lot of different tropes that I think as a society, we've grown out of really loving but as a whole i do really love this book and the series and i am enjoying my time reading it i just i'm tired of a good chunk of the characters like they're all very bland and they're all very tropey like i don't know it's hard to explain and i don't love that aspect of it i've officially finished allegiant and i think i'm gonna settle on a four out of five stars because i actually enjoyed this book more than i like insurgent i thought it was more of an interesting story and i feel like veronica roth chose to take a lot of risks as an author i feel like obviously her ending was quite risky for a young adult genre and to me they paid off a lot more than for some people they might have like i understand that the ending is kind of trash for allegiant but at the same time i actually really didn't mind it this time i did cry a little bit i'm not gonna lie to you i didn't like full out sob like i did last time when i read this but i did end up crying a little bit and spoiler 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 obviously tris dies i think we know that i don't think her death was great i think if you're the main character i think you deserve a much better death than what she got like i feel like she should have died from the death serum instead of just being shot like i feel like after all the time she's been shot i feel like that was just kind of like a cop-out way for her to die i feel like death serum would have been a lot more interesting to know that her genes weren't as like almighty powerful whatever that people thought they were so i'm not a big fan of that aspect of it but i will say that overall i am happy with the story this story does take a much heavier turn into the scientific aspects where we learn a lot more about the genes and a lot more about the way serums are made and a lot more about the way that serums are distributed and how they impact the genes and how they impact the brain it was very scientific i will definitely say that veronica roth put in a lot of work for this i don't necessarily understand all of it but it was well done it was well researched and yeah i think it ended on a not high note but i think it ended in an okay way that's all that i have to say about allegiant so i will just quickly wrap this vlog up so out of the three books my favorite is still divergent i feel like that is just a given i feel like a lot of the times the first books in series are hard to be beaten especially for series that were written like around the time of divergent hunger games all that stuff i'm saying hunger games but i liked catching fire better so like what what am i doing but i definitely liked that one the best i gave it four out of five stars not five out of five stars i feel like it wasn't a five out of five star read given the other books that i've read now that are five stars i just feel like this doesn't match up to it but it was still definitely a very good story and a very interesting concept and i liked it and i i would absolutely give it four stars but when it comes to insurgent i gave it 3.5 out of 5 stars my original rating for insurgent is four stars out of five i'm giving it 3.5 because ultimately i found it to be very dry and there was a lot of just bickering and arguing between tris and tobias and i didn't love it <laughs> i didn't love that aspect of it and i just thought it was the story itself just kind of plateaued for a little we didn't get a lot 
lot of action and even when we did it wasn't that exciting so I didn't love that so that is definitely my least favorite book in the series and then for Allegiant like I said I'm going to settle on a four out of five stars my original rating for this was three but that's because I was an emotional bitch and I didn't know how to handle myself but I actually did like this story a lot better the second time around than I did the first time and I think four out of five stars is fair because I do think it's relatively on the same level as Divergent maybe not quite but I don't think it's quite 3.5 or 3 so I'm gonna stick with four and that concludes this Divergent reread vlog I am really happy that I reread this and I'm looking forward to editing this to see how incoherent my thoughts were and as always please like comment and subscribe for more content. I do post twice a week and I like doing that so I'm gonna keep doing it <laughs> and that is all I'm going to say about that. Until next time, bye readers!